Yeah, uh, this was uh, just just last night. We had uh, episode three. Wow. Yeah. Um, where did you watch episode one? I'm sorry. Where did you watch episode one? Were you all? Uh, I was working. Actually, I was wor I was working. We we all went into a room somewhere and we were live tweeting and all that stu uh, stuff. And I had to go and go home. And then uh, one of our producers was nice enough to take me to his house to watch it because um, I don't own a TV. <laughs> <laughs> so you and the Marvel Universe uh, it didn't just happen. You have let's see. You were in a you were in Avengers. Avengers. As an actor. Just as an actor. Yes. And uh, and. Did that have something to do with you showing up in Agent Carter? You know, um, I'm not sure because uh, I have worked with Joss Whedon before, right. who is a legendary boss, <laughs> a great person to work with, and um, and I know that they all work with each other now. The only thing I was told was Lewis said, "I saw your tape, and I, I wanted you for Daniel Souza." So um, uh, I'm I'm hoping it didn't hurt. That, yeah. that other people had worked for me and hopefully liked working with me. So well, important thing is you're there. You're a multi-marvel yeah. uh, person. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, tell me about your character in Agent Carter. I play Daniel Souza, Agent Daniel Souza, who is um, a disabled war veteran who comes back from the war, joins the SSR, and he works alongside of Peggy Carter. And they're both... Um, uh, the agents in the back of the room, right? They're not the star agents, they're the agents who have to do a lot of the lunch runs right. and, uh, and a lot of the filing. And, um, uh, but Daniel was, uh, and a lot of them are very sexist, but Daniel sees her very much for what she is. Maybe he's the only uh, person in, this, um, in the SSR who sees her for what she is, which is a very capable agent. And um, he doesn't quite suspect what she's fully capable of, but he sees some of it, mm -hmm. and he treats her with respect, and, and, and I hope, in a sense, he's a bit of a moral compass. You know, he's a very good guy. Right. They're friends. Is there chemistry between them? There's, def there's definitely chemistry, I think, more so on Sousa's part. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's all I can speak for, is I know that uh, he really likes her. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, he would, want, he would want it to be more than friends. But when your ex-boyfriend's Captain America, you kind of... <laughs> <laughs> you kind of wait for your moment. <laughs> you wait for the right moment. Uh, so say, I know, I know Steve Rogers is yeah. gone, but... Um, one of the wonderful things about the show is the flavor, of course, the period. Yeah. Um, did you guys, it's, it's, it looks beautiful, you know, they did yeah. a good job with all that, and the, the radio drama, it's funny, and, and, but also pretty, at least what seems to be a very accurate feel for the time. <clears throat> they've, they've done such a good job at balancing... Um, real elements, r real elements of the 40s, and really making sure every single character has something from the war, some kind of wound that they're taking with them. But at the same time, this is a really fun show. Yeah. And Peggy kicks butt. Oh, and so, and, and there's tons of humor. So, um, they've, they've got this great alchemy. I don't know what they're doing yeah. in the scripts where they find a way to uh, pop into something real and deal with sexism and deal with what's going on that time and then slide right off of it into something real fun. Uh, I don't know if I could figure out how to do, how to write like that. <laughs> you know, I'd, I'd be making money. Did you guys, as, as actors, did you do um, research looking at films from the time at all, or? I stayed away from that. I stayed away from that because um, in, in a lot of films from that time, they're acting the style, right? There's a, there's a style of film. Mm -hmm. There's, there are two separate things. There's how people acted. Right in real life and then there's people how they acted in films. And uh, I just wanted to keep it out of my brain. I didn't want to be doing any kind of Cary Grant, um, that kind of stuff. I wanted to just let them tell me what the world was. Read the script, feel the script, and then from that uh, do what I was feeling off the page and let them determine the tone, not be bringing in any kind of like, ah. Yeah. Where's it all going? How far ahead do you know? Uh, I find out episode by episode. They, they don't really tell me much. Wrong person to ask. No. <laughs> <laughs> I, I am definitely the wrong okay. person to ask.